Crisis continues in the Middle East. Israel finding itself locked in battle with countries on all sides. We thank you for staying with us at 530. I'm Jared Smalley and I'm Jennifer Bullock. It's been a year almost since October 7th, the day Hamas attacked Israel, starting a war in the Middle East. It's been a year of turmoil and Monday, Iran launched an attack against Israel. NBC 4 Delaney Ruth joins us now with how one American living in Tel Aviv is doing in the midst of the war. Delaney. Jennifer Jared, we first introduced you to Ohio University graduate Shay Manton in October of 2023. She'd been living in Tel Aviv for just two months when Hamas attacked Israel. Manton is still living in the country, and she says the sound of sirens has become a constant in her life. It's really hard to think that it's been a year. I think a lot of people here are really struggling with the fact that it's been a year. Shay Manton has lived in Tel Aviv for about 14 months now. She says she loves being in Israel, but it's been hard to get used to rockets flying above her head. On Monday, Manton was at the mall when sirens went off, signaling Iran's attack on the country. We ran to the nearest bomb shelter. There was like 30 strangers running in with us. Um, we closed the bomb shelter door and you could hear massive booms like like we haven't honestly had those that loud in Tel Aviv since the war began. And as she made her way home, sirens blared again and she had to pull the car over underneath a bridge for shelter. We got, had like a whole visual. I could see about 30 rockets in the sky coming towards Tel Aviv, coming towards the area that we were in and we couldn't go anywhere. Like we just had to sit under a bridge and hope that they all got intercepted. Manton is a fourth grade teacher and she says there are siren drills almost every single day at her school. It's not like it is in America where it's like we walk out neat and orderly during a fire drill. It's like we are yelling at these kids, run, run, run. Um, and they are sprinting to these bomb shelters. Manton says the first few months after October 7th were difficult and she got used to sirens and ducking into bomb shelters. Then throughout the winter, spring, and most of the summer, things had calmed down and life went back to normal until the attack on Monday. She says she can't believe this war is still going on. My kids are, have to live in fear of this crazy reality all the time, and it's just feels like it's never going to end. It was like this a year ago. It's like this again now. Is it going to be like this next year? Manton says she will continue to live her life even with the war going on in the background, and she says she hopes every single day for peace in the Middle East.